We're making Kentucky Fried Quail today. This is my version of fried quail, but we're gonna get a little crazy with the spices here. Uh, this is Szechuan peppercorns. It's so spicy, it has almost a sort of a numbing kind of effect on your tongue. It's, it's really cool. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon's worth, I'm gonna throw it into this mortar and pestle, and we're just gonna grind it up. In Chinese cuisine, you would see this kind of preparation a lot with poultry. Quail, chicken, duck, it's so aromatic. All right, that's pretty good now. To this, we're actually gonna add a little bit of salt and five spice. And we're going to mix that up again. Actually, this is a great salt to use in, in so many things. I call it simply a fragrant salt. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of spray this salt all over the quail. You wanna make sure to get a nice, good amount. And make sure to get underneath the wings too. It's more inspired by probably street food than it is sort of a fancy restaurant dish. I love playing with the idea of sort of highbrow, lowbrow cuisine. And I think normally you see quail in a restaurant. It's usually a pretty fancy dish. It's usually, a, you know, French inspired. And this is as simple as it gets. Let's see how many I can fit in here. I think I might be able to fit all four in this little basket. Look at that. Perfect. And I've got this on pretty high. I've got this at about 375 degrees. You're gonna go anywhere from like four to six minutes. In the meantime, I'm also gonna make a little bit of a soy dipping sauce. I've got a little bit of soy sauce. I've actually already added a, just a little bit of sugar to it. And I'm just gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice right in. Okay, so that's my soy dipping sauce. All right, let's check these little guys and see how they're doing. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. So you can tell that the skin is nice and crispy, it's dark, and you can see how the meat's pulling away from the bone here on the skin. It's revealing the bone on the leg. And you can kind of peek a little bit in here. There's no red when we're pretty much done. That was it, pretty quick. And you can actually take a little bit of more fragrant salt and serve it with the ponzu. And there you have it. And uh, I'll even show you how to eat one. You can rip a tail, dip it in the ponzu. Oh, fantastic. Fried quail, a little soy dipping sauce, and fragrant salt. I'm gonna eat the rest of these.